So I'll call the Tuesday, September 8, 2020, regular meeting of council to order. Uh, first up on the agenda, 2.1, adoption of this uh, evening's agenda. Councillor Pearson, Councillor Blanchett, any additions? All in favor? It's carried. 3.1, public comment. No public comments received, written? None. Thank you. 4.1, adoption of the August 11th, 2020 regular meeting of council minutes. Councillor McLean, Councillor Pearson, any errors or omissions arising? Hearing none, all in favor? It's carried. Item 4.2, adoption of the August 11th, 2020 public hearing be adopted as presented. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, any errors or omissions arising? All in favor? It's carried. 4.3, adoption of the August 18th, 2020 special meeting of council be uh, as presented. Councillor Pearson, Councillor Blanchett, any errors or omissions? All in favor? Carried. And that the minutes of the August 31, 2020 special meeting of council be adopted as presented. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, any errors or omissions arising? All in favor? It carries. 7.1, correspondence for action. Belmont Entertainment Society request to council looking for a uh, waiving of the community hall. Yes, waiving of the rental fees of the community hall for the Belmont Entertainment Society AGM to be held on September 15, 2020, subject to facility availability and adherence to Village of Belmont policy 12, rental of village facilities and property. Pardon? This just got complicated because I should recuse myself on this as a voting board member on Vilmon Entertainment. But he's assigned, but, sorry, order, he's assigned from this council to that no, board. I'm not. Does that matter? No, not. Oh, okay. So my, my apologies. Yep, no worries. Okay. Thank you. Well, just one second while the uh, recused member recuses. Councilor McLean, Councilor Blanchett, uh, discussion. Do uh, user groups of municipal facilities have to present uh, COVID safety plans? Yes, that is a requirement, but we would ask them uh, after this decision is made. Cool. Either way. Thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? Carries. 4 uh, National Farmer Care, Care Call to Action. I was hoping we could add our names to the list or prepare our own um, correspondence on this item. It was the previous municipality? Comox. Comox. No, no there was another, there was a, a Houston, I think. Oh, okay. Also uh, forwarded. Okay. Um, How would you like to proceed, Councillor? I would like to add our names to the list. Okay. That makes it easier, you know, for staff. Seconder? Yep. Councillor McLean? Discussion on the motion? All in favor? Carries. Anything else in the reading file? 9.1, counts payable. That the report for uh, 20, uh, August 2020 be received. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor Pearson, discussion. All in favor? Carries. 9.2, the 2020 second quarterly budget report be received. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor McLean, any discussion? Second quarter? All in favor? Carries. 9.3, permissive tax exemptions. I would recommend that we have uh, a single motion for each group. That way, whether there's perceived or legal 
conflicts of interest that members have the opportunity to recuse themselves. What is council's wish for permissive tax exemptions, starting with Fail Mountain Area Recreation Development Association, and I need to recuse myself as I am a voting member of their board. Uh, Councillor McLean, do you have the chair? Uh, do we want, we want to start with a, uh, a motion to grant uh, a percentage tax exemption for the first named society, which is the Vale Mountain Area Recreation Development Association. Can we have a motion? Councillor Blanchett. So I would like to move that, um, unfortunately, we, I cannot honestly um, ask for money from people who have not had any for months and months and months on end. Um, I can't ask homeowners who are paying, trying to pay all of their bills to help chip in for things. Um, I'm hoping that there's some grants that these um, facilities can access. Um, and I'm hoping that we just do this for a one year term as it is sort of a strange year. But I would um, put to the table that we do zero this year, unfortunately. Do we have a seconder? Mm. Wow, that's a tough one. I would prefer not to second that at this time. So the motion dies. How do we wish to proceed? Just request another motion. Can we request um, another motion? I would move that we uh, do the one year and uh, do a 25% if we're doing them individually. Do we have a seconder? That motion dies as well. So, how question for clarification. Yes. It's my understanding we are doing a blanket percentage for all groups. Is that correct? The way it was presented? Uh, the, the mayor had asked that it be done individually, so that each individual uh, person requesting or organization requesting for an exemption uh, be done individually. So, your worship. Yes. So, um, um, and as a blanket, I would like to do everybody at, at zero. Just like we've got businesses that are only just reopening, just rehiring staff. Staff are just only starting to work. Public are just starting back to work if they're working. Um, I mean, there's there are several different grants out there for different societies. So I would assume that there are some for these nonprofits that they just need to look for that. There's also the grant, the um, Prince George. Uh, Help me. There's a through RDF through um, our director at every H. Yes, I'm sorry, I can't remember yeah. the name of the association. Uh, it's the uh, it's it's offered through Community Futures. Yeah. yeah. So there are several grants out there, um, but I know that the businesses are all struggling. So to ask them to chip in, I, it's just you know like I still know some people that aren't going back to work. How can we ask them to help? You know, can we we can we could we could do like ten percent? Could we not? You can get any percent that you wanted. How do we feel about a ten percent ask? Is that motion? Yeah. Do we have a seconder? Well, this really changes uh, everything from. The information we were given so okay, what? and we need a seconder to have discussion yes. we need a seconder to move into discussion please but 
then there's no point in a vote. Both members are counted, so. No, actually, there, you would still be able to vote afterwards, and uh, there's still a quorum of council, so there would still be, with a, the chair would still, if there was a tie, the chair would have to vote. Okay, I will second it to move to discussion. Okay. Discussion, please. Uh, I agree. But with the background information we were given on how this is uh, spread out um, over the different organizations, because quite frankly, this could also be a death knell for an organization if they get no reduction in, in property taxes at this point, because they're hurting as well. So. Everybody's hurting, so what do we do, right? Yeah. Can, can, I, can I ask a question? So is there any way that we can, as a village, um, defer this? Like, does this, does this thing, does this have to go through this year? Is there any way, you know how sometimes you can defer things a year? Oh, I see what you're saying, like yeah. defer. Uh, yeah, is there any way this can be that? Just because this is such a such an issue that, you know, like we all want to help, but. Technically, no, uh, because it, in order for us to defer it, we would basically be saying there's no, uh, it would be at zero. Uh, it would either be 100% or, or zero, depending on how you looked at it. Mm -hmm. Um, because deferring this would imply that we would be able to state they don't need to pay their taxes and the, the province hasn't given us that ability to okay. waive the, that requirement. Okay. Just, just, just to help out here, just in case yeah. this, this was not clear, um, Keep in mind that the property tax uh, that is that is uh, exempt is only affecting what property classes that those uh, businesses or organizations are coming from. So, for example, uh, because we're talking about bars, I use them for example. They're located in a C zone, a commercial zone. Those taxes are only spread out amongst commercial properties. They're not spread out amongst residential properties um, uh, within the village. So it would not affect homeowners. But it will affect commercial, it which will. are the ones that got shut down. Yes, and you'd yeah. be looking at a difference of, a, if it were, it'd be like $8 if that were the case for, um, for every $100,000 if you went with 100%. If you went down to 25%, it would be $2. Uh, per hundred thousand dollar assessed value. So just for clarity. So can I ask a question? So none of these places are on um, public. Like they're not on residential. Uh, let's see. Is here. anyone on these uh, residential? The bars. only one residential. Bars. bars? Oh, yeah, okay, sorry, right there. So we've had a motion and a second. Further discussion? So right now the motion is at 10%, is that right? Is that where yep. we are? Yeah. Okay. 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 I might add one thing, uh, although it was the mayor's wish that, uh, that we did a uh, individual, if, if council would rather have it be one vote for all, you could make that motion and then we would call the mayor back in and then that would just be the case. Although it's, it's to be recognized that there's two people here in the room that are sitting on individual boards. Mm -hmm. It would not be considered a conflict of interest because you would be voting on all properties. So it's, it's not that you're specifically benefiting 
your specific organization by doing it that way. And that's been made clear in case law. So I'm, I'm but the motion is still on the table. Oh, okay. Okay. So we would need to defeat the motion or amend the motion? So you need to vote on this motion, um, <clears throat> whether you want to move ahead with it or defeat it. Uh, and then after that, um, if, if you defeat the motion, then you could make a different motion if you want to do a, a blanket for all. Okay. Um, call the uh, vote in favor of the motion to give um, a 10% for Varda. So without raising, okay, and then we have to call the opposite then. Okay, so do we call the opposite? So to vote against the motion, a show of hands, please. Okay, it's defeated. Uh, so yeah. we. Do I, can I make a motion to have it a, as a blanket? Yes. Motion for all and bring in the mayor? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's what I'll do. Well, okay. um, get that you, aside. But it, it, why should we make, we should pass this motion first? Because. So his participation hinges on whether or not that this is going to be a blanket motion. Okay. So I would move that we move ahead with a blanket motion for okay. all of these groups. So second. Call the vote. Favor. Pass. Okay. Sorry, I missed the move or seconder. It was uh, Blanchette and Kirsten. What's the good word? Well, the good word is that we have voted to make this a blanket um, permissive tax exemption okay. percentage wise. Sure. So we'll be voting as a block rather than individually for sure. the entire group of them. All right. Do we have a mover on the previous discussion? No. We're starting from scratch again. All right. So what's Council's wish? <laughs> So do we go down the same path we did and go from there and have the discussion or? So you would, somebody would have to motion what they want as a blanket across okay. the board and then would move from there. Councillor. So I would move um, a 10% tax exemption for all of the nonprofit organizations. Seconder. Councillor McLean seconds on a 10% tax exemption across the board for the listed organizations. Discussion. Councillor, so, uh, sorry, Councillor Blanchett. Um, I just want to reiterate, just for the mayor's benefit, that in good conscience, I can't ask people that had to close businesses and let go of staff um, to help chip in a whole bunch of money. They don't have any. There isn't any extra money. None of us have any. So that's, I mean, originally I had asked for zero. Um, and so I think that 10% is fair. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of grants that these places can can access to help them get through the year. And I'd also ask that this just be a one year term, just because we're dealing with something so unfamiliar, that next year we go through this again on a, hopefully a better light. So that's my reasoning. I'm hearing an amendment to the motion. I would add that we have a one year, that this be a one year term. Second on the amendment. Councillor Pearson. Any discussion on the amendment? Hearing none, all in favor on the amendment of one year? It's carried. Back to the motion as amended, further discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? C carries. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, opposed. Looks like you're abstaining. Very good. It carries. 
Vailmont Community Forest uh, under 9.4, Vailmont Community Forest and Vailmont Industrial Park annual meetings. Uh, recommendation here that the following annual schedule be set to conduct the required meetings for the village's two municipal corporations. So for the Vailmont Industrial Park annual general meeting, annual public meeting, and the annual meeting of partners to take place during the first regular council meeting in June of each year. Separate motions, Ms. Shepard? So on the first recommendation, Vailmont Industrial Park, first regular meeting in June. Council Blanchett, Council Pearson, discussion? All in favor? That carries. <coughs> Excuse me. Vailmont Community Forest Annual General Meeting, Annual Public Meeting, and the Annual Meeting of Partners to take place the second regular council meeting in June of each year. Councilor Pearson, Councilor Blanchette, any discussion? All in favor? It carries. 9.5, Wood Stove Exchange Program. Uh, recommendation here that staff be directed to submit a proposal to the Ministry of Environment Wood Stove Exchange Program. Councilor Blanchette, Councilor Pearson, Discussion? All in favor? It carries. 9.6, First Nation invitation to participate in official community plan update. Uh, recommendation here that, that we send a letter to Simp First Nation requesting their participation. Councillor Blanchett, Councillor Pearson, discussion? All in favor? It carries. Under bylaws and policies 10.1, zoning an official community plan bylaw amendment for 1300 Second Avenue. First recommendation here that the Village of Belmont zoning bylaw 610 20, uh, 2007, amendment bylaw number 829 2020 be given first and second reading. Councillor Pearson, Councillor Blanchett, any discussion? First and second reading. All in favor? Carries. And two, that the Village of Elman Official Community Plan Bylaw Number 595-2006, Amendment Bylaw Number 830-2020 be given first and second reading. Councillor Pearson, Councillor Blanchett, any discussion? All in favor? Carries. Council reports. Councillor Pearson. Okay. Uh, August 12th, I had Operation Lifesaver conference call, uh, talking about rail safety in general and upcoming rail safety week, which I can't remember which week it is at this point. Uh, August 18th, special or tourism Belmont meeting, followed by a special council meeting that night. August 31st, special council meeting, and earlier today. Uh, first, a tourism Vailmount meeting, followed by a CVRC CCC meeting, user group meeting towards the upcoming winter season at the arena. Awesome. Councilor Blanchett? We had the special meeting on the 18th and the 31st, and I had a housing meeting on the 20th. That is it. Awesome. Councilor McLean. I have nothing to report other than the two special council meetings. Thank you. Um, August 13th, I had a meeting with Tommaso Alberti and Jill Bogdan of VGDR. Uh, August 18th, I had three meetings that day. Uh, one at first with Columbia Basin Trust, our trust, our future planning outreach for elected officials. Uh, later that day, a briefing with Emergency available emergency services, and then again a uh, special meeting of council joining you all. On the 19th, I had a Zoom meeting with Simp First Nation Councillor uh, Ron Lampro Jr. and Al Chorney, who's the general manager of the Simp Resources Group. Um, later that day, I had a VARTA board meeting. August 20th, I had a regional district board meeting and a regional hospital board meeting. Uh, August 31st, uh, really cool, the uh, Canadian Rangers had a convoy come through, uh, so one of their uh, leaders from Victoria, um, 
led an exercise, so it bid them welcome, and we had a bit of a discussion down at the George Six Regional Park about how municipalities in general were dealing with COVID and uh, how basically an information exchange on how uh, Canadian Rangers can help municipalities and vice versa. Um, August 24th, another briefing with Vailmont Emergency Services. Uh, August 26th, had an in-person meeting with uh, Mr. Chorney from the Simp Resources Group. August 27th, uh, Northern Health Authority briefing, uh, basically around uh, some of the more remote outbreaks that are happening on Haida Gwaii, Northeastern BC. Again, the important message, viruses don't travel, people do. I think it was a, a re family reunion up, up north that uh, somebody was able to contract COVID. Um, on the 31st, I had an interview with CFGC out of Kamloops uh, regarding the TMX worker accommoda uh, accommodation facility. Um, and that was stemming from th their interview with Mayor Blackwell of Clearwater. Uh, he and I have been back and forth. We're, we're a little bit ahead of the game in terms of our camp is up and running. Um, there's not quite there yet. How are things rolling out on this section versus their section? It's been really good. Just keeping in contact with uh, our Southern partners. Later that day, meeting with you all, the special meeting of council. Uh, September 1st, uh, briefing with Vermont Emergency Services. September 2nd, caribou herd planning, not head planning, herd planning. Update, uh, more or less around the hard herd um, with uh, the Soto First Nation in West Moberly. Uh, another Northern Health Authority briefing on September the 3rd, this time around um, overdoses, particularly here in the north. They're seeing a lot of uh, more than just recreational use of opioids um, than we are in the more populated areas of the province. And then today, joined Councilor Pearson, oh, sorry, uh, one of the CCC members that we have uh, in an initial planning meeting with RDFFG and the user groups of the Canoe Valley Rec Center. Uh, motion to receive reports. Councilor Pearson, Councilor McLean, any questions of the reporting of members of council? All in favor, receipt. Carries. Item 14.1, notice to proceed in camera. Uh, recommendation here of the council proceed to an in-camera meeting for consideration of one item per section 91K of the community charter to discuss matters related to K, negotiations and related discussions respecting the proposed provision of a municipal service that are at their preliminary stages and that in the view of council could reasonably be expected to harm the interests of the municipality if they were held in public. Councilor Blanchett, Councilor McLean, all in favor? Carries. Uh, 